water. You see this little pond water right here? Obviously, now this is a decent lake, but I would not recommend drinking straight out of this lake. So we see how fast we can set this thing up. Filter right there. We don't need that. So all you need, technically, is the two little... All I need is the two little hoses. Open that up. Slide that on right there. I would say that took me around about a minute. So now all you're going to do is drop that down in the water like that. Hold this button down. I'm going to let it run for a little bit and get out the old water. I was now, obviously there's one thing you're going to have to worry about and that's keeping it charged. But because I have a solar power and a power bank that I keep with me, that's not an issue. This is definitely the best water filter system I've used to date. This is so cool having an electric pump. Look how fast it, I don't know if you've seen down in there, look how fast it filled that up. Now let's try it. Well, it tastes like water. I don't see any problem with it. <laughs> And, and if I've made this video, then apparently I survived. So it filled that up in about 30 seconds. But believe it or not, this right here technically can be used as a live straw if you just suck on this. So if I suck on that, I can use this as a live straw. So that way I don't really need to have the pump. You know, it's not going to be the easiest. Yeah. Yeah, that worked. You could use this as a straw. So then when you need to backflow it, you'll screw a bottle in right here and squeeze down and that's how you're gonna backflow it. In this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over an outdoor electric water filter. Check this thing out. I've actually never seen anything like this. This is a battery powered water filter. And you know, if you're like me and you usually have solar panels or electricity with you anyway, while you're camping or traveling, that's not really an issue. So let's just kind of like go over the box here. The filtration accuracy of this thing is 0 0.01 um 99.99 percent removal of harmful substances six layer filtration and replaceable filters you can kind of see what it looks like right there model this has a battery capacity 2200 milliamps 3.7 volt it's a type c charging battery working hours 210 minutes ip67 so i guess it better be waterproof if it's a water filter Let's just go ahead and open this thing up. I've actually not even looked at this thing, so you guys are seeing it for the first time as I'm saying. I tell you what, I definitely like this bag. has a hook on it. I love the fact that they included a carabiner hook on it. They've got a belt loop right there for tying it to your backpack or your belt or something like that. little set of instructions, and let's just kind of like see how instructions have it, how it sets up. Actually, let's just open it up, see what we get in here. That's a replacement one. That must be the filter itself. There's the unit. Wow, it really, it's a very light bag too. And here's the hoses. And a USB-C cable, which I have 10,000 of those. So you got a, I'm guessing that's the hose that goes down in the water and that goes into the cup. Let me go ahead and clean this up, look over the instructions, I'll come back and put it together. So this is a replacement filter and to put this filter in, you're gonna replace this, I think it said every 2,000 liters of water. Unscrew that bottom piece and this is the actual filter piece right there and that's what's in there. So you can get replacement filters that seem to last a long time anyway and screwing that back on. There's the piece. So this right here is where the water gets sucked up into. This is the actual filter itself. I love the fact that they actually have it see-through right here. What you're going to do is open this up, put this straw, one goes down there like that, Right here is your USB-C port for charging. And then there's a small port right down here. It was not the easiest to get open. That's going to go on there like that. So what you're going to do is drop this down into the river, the lake, the water, whatever you need. Drop that down. And then, this is cool. Watch this. You turn this dial, and that little peekaboo thing just shows up. And then you're going to put this on there like that. So that's gonna go on there. Then that goes down inside of a cup, a water bottle or whatever, is hold the button down for a few seconds. 
And there it is. I got a rain bucket with actual rain water that's been that I wouldn't drink. <laughs> I definitely would not drink it, but I'm going to trust that this filter works and I'm going to filter that water into a cup. I'll have a glass and we'll see what it looks like before and after. So let's do that now. So I've set this rain barrel up. I did a video on how to make this rain barrel. If you're curious, what I just used is a, you know, a, uh, like a garbage can and then I put a spout down there, but look inside this thing. You see how there's rain water in there? Let me go ahead and move the lid over that looks disgusting actually this is a hundred percent clean glass here so i'm gonna put the clean glass right there take our filter and i'm gonna put it right here inside the the water you can see it's in there what it's doing it's actually sucking itself down and there we go i'm gonna let it run for about 10 seconds to flush it and you see how it's working right here. It's just basically letting that, and look how disgusting that water is. No way would I drink that. That's crazy. But you know what? Looking at it coming out of this spout right here, that actually looks like a little water fountain. That is cool. It's been about 10 seconds. Let's see what this thing looks like. Okay, turning it off here. I'm gonna set the, the filter aside. That is crystal clear water. Now, obviously, I'm not putting it under a microscope and looking at it, but I'm just going to trust that this is good water. Let's try to drink it. Well, I drank it, and it tastes like water. And you know what? If I made this video, then I guess, um, I guess I'm still with you. So I recommend this thing, everybody. You know, I don't see an issue with it. It's super silent, too. This thing, I don't know if you can hear it. It's a very low... Well, that's it, everybody. That's all I got today on the GVC, GVDC electric water filter. See you all in the next video.